acetal bull so this is the coxal bone or the pelvic bone this big socket here is the acetabulum the deep socket where the head of the femur articulates anterior superior iliac spine this is the anterior superior iliac spine greater sciatic notch this notch here is the greater sciatic notch iliac crest iliac crest is this rim here the margin here this is this is the iliac crest and here the shallow depression here is iliac fossa this whole bone from this whole bone from here to here is ilium ischial spine so this is the great sciatic notch this small spine is the great is is the ischial spine this one and ischial tuberosity ischial tuberosity is this rough part is the ischial tuberosity which is located in the ischium so ischial tuberosity is the part on which we are sitting ischium so ischium bone is for example this is all ilium ischium is from here this bone from here to here is the ischium so ischium is from here to here is the ischium so we go from here up to here not this side this side is the pubis only this side here is the ischium now lesser sciatic notch so we saw the greater sciatic notch we saw the ischial spine and this notch here is the lesser sciatic notch obturator foramen this big foramen is the obturator foramen posterior superior iliac spine posterior superior iliac spine is this one so this one here is the posterior superior iliac spine pubic arch pubic arch we will see when these two pelvic bones are articulated so see this is the pubic angle and the arch is the pubic arch pubis so pubis is for example if we look at these bones this is pubic bone or we say pubis and sacroiliac joint sacroiliac joint is here like this is the sacrum and this is the e ilium so this is the sacroiliac joint this one this is the sacroiliac joint and this one this is fibrocartilage and this joint is known as pubic symphysis where the two pubic bones see the two pubic bones these two pubic bone join together here and makes the pubic symphysis so that was about the hip bone now we will come back to femur so this bone here this bone here is the femur and the femur has this is the head of the femur which is round ball shape that's why the hip joint is known as ball and socket it means head of the femur is the ball and the acetabulum is the socket so here this tiny hole here foramen like tiny depression here that is the fovea capitis now in the femur if we see this large projection here is the greater trochanter and this less projection here is the lesser trochanter so head of the femur greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter 
Now we need to know lateral condyle and lateral epicondyle. So what we do, we look at the head and go all the way down. Head is in the medial side. So on the because head is on the medial side, we have this is the medial condyle. This one. This is smooth is the medial condyle and opposite side is the lateral condyle. Now epicondyle is outer. So this is the medial epicondyle and this is the lateral epicondyle on the so again head go all the way down medial condyle lateral condyle medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle on the lateral side linea aspira so you see this is the posterior side and this line here is the linea aspira the neck of the femur here is the neck of the femur so now we go again head of the femur greater trochanter lesser trochanter neck of the femur linea aspira medial condyle lateral condyle medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle and head of the femur has this tiny depression known as fovea capitis so this was the femur and this is the bone of the thigh thigh has only one bone that is the femur and femur is the thickest and the strongest bone in our body now we will cover tibia so this is the tibia and tibia is the bone which is located below the knee so it is below the knee and anterior crest so see this line here this crest here is the anterior crest now medial malleolus so if we go down this is um, actually if we keep it here and this is spine here is the medial malleolus this is spine and we can feel medial malleolus if we palpate our leg on the medial side near the ankle we will feel the medial malleolus so this is the medial malleolus and then in the tibia you need to know lateral condyle and medial condyle so here is the actually anterior crest and here you see this bumpy structure is the tibial tuberosity it's a bump and here the like when we will study the muscles quadriceps muscles they will attach here now because here is the medial malleolus so we go all the way here is the medial condyle that in the direction where we have the medial malleolus we have the medial condyle and here we have the lateral condyle so these are the lateral condyle medial condyle medial condyle where like if we go all the way down we have the medial malleolus tibial tuberosity anterior crest so this is the bone which is known as tibia and it is located in the leg on the medial side means more towards the inner side now we will go through the fibula so this is fibula fibula is a thin bone and this is also this bone is also located in the lower leg means below the knee and in this one you need to know the head and you need to know lateral malleolus so lateral malleolus is this one you see this kind of making triangle shape that is the lateral malleolus and you can feel the lateral malleolus if you palpate it near the ankle on the lateral side you will see the lateral you can feel the lateral malleolus now this bone here a small bone this is known as kneecap or patella now so we are done with the femur tibia fibula and the kneecap now this is actually we will talk about 
the foot bones. So like the wrist bones are known as carpals. In the foot, we have the tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. So this big bone you see here, this one, this is known as the heel bone or calcaneus. And next to it, this one is talus. Now, so calcaneus, talus. Above the calcaneus, this bone here is the navicular. And above the talus, this is the cuboid. And now we need to know the cuneiform. So look at the big toe, how to identify big toe. Only it has the proximal and the distal. It does not have the middle phalange. So this is the big toe actually. So talus, cuboid, and this tiny bone here, this is like bone here, is the middle cuneiform medial cuneiform, this is the intermediate cuneiform, and this is the lateral cuneiform. So we will go again, callus, calcaneus, talus, navicular, cuboid, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, and the lateral cuneiform. So medial cuneiform towards the big two. Now, these are the metatarsals. Metatarsals are numbered metatarsal 1, metatarsal 2, metatarsal 3, metatarsal 4, and metatarsal 5. Metatarsal 1 is towards the big toe. Now, these are phalanges proximal, distal. Proximal, medial, distal. Proximal, medial, distal. So that is the way you need to know. And this is all about, actually, the pelvic girdle appendicular skeleton bone of lower extremities. So we are done with it.